Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be recreating a do-rag that Rihanna wore at an award show a few years ago. And I'm going to insert a picture right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. If you want to see how this turns out, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So for this project, I went to my local craft store, which happened to be Michael's, and I grabbed a bunch of rhinestone gems, but I recommend purchasing them off of Amazon just because they're a lot cheaper. And in this clip, it looks like I, I got seven or eight bags, but that was nowhere near enough. I ended up having to go back to Michael's and pick up a bunch more. Also from Michael's, I picked up this tool that's used to pick up the rhinestones. It's just made out of wax, so you can just press it on the gem and it picks it up easily. I also bought two packs of the E6000 glue and this one is specifically for jewelry um, so I would definitely get this one instead of the regular E6000 glue. And then last but not least you're gonna need a do-rag. I just got this white one from my local beauty supply store. Actually, you're going to need one more thing for this project, and that is patience. This took me forever to complete, so definitely make sure that you have a lot of patience before you start doing this. So as you guys can see, I am just placing the rhinestones on the do-rag one by one, and I did try a couple different methods as far as placing them on just to see what was quicker. Um, I started out using my hands to place them on the cloth um, and then I eventually did switch over to the jewelry picker upper uh, or whatever the technical name for it is. Um, in my opinion I felt like using my hands was just a lot faster but the tool does work. One thing I noticed is that once the glue starts to dry, the do-rag is going to stick to whatever it's laying on, whether it's a towel or whatever, so just don't forget to lift the do-rag up every couple minutes just so that it doesn't get stuck. So here we are on the final stretch of the project. This is day two, and I know my hands were starting to cramp up the, at this point, but luckily I was almost finished because I really wasn't sure how much longer I could take doing this. It was hard, y'all. I mean, look at the detail in this. And I am finally finished. And you know, since this is a Rihanna inspired do rag, I had to bust out the Fenty highlighter and I had to highlight my shoulders just to be a little bit more extra. Um, and I really liked how it turned out. And I think because it took so long that I just enjoy it even more. And you can tell how much I like it. I'm just twirling around my room and I just love how extra this is. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Would you ever try this at home? Me personally, I will never do this again. It took way too long, but I really like the outcome. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.